gonna remove the door panels. Already did that side, and I'll show you guys how I did this one. Two screws right here, Phillips. You have this uh, door, the you know, window crank. It has a little clip, so you have to stick something in there. I like to use these little hooks, but you gotta be careful because when you pull that little clip off, sometimes it just springs some, it springs out really quick and you can get lost easily. So you gotta remove that, and then this comes up. You have three Phillips right here. And whenever I remove these, you basically just kind of have to hit it a little bit like this to the side, like this, and this comes off, and then just pry out the door panel, have some retaining clips. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Let me show you guys. I recommend if you're gonna change all your door panels on an old truck like this, these clips, they're very brittle. So make sure you kind of have extra ones or buy some or take them out really careful. But I'm gonna have to buy some new ones. These, these are trash already. So good news, I took my seat to a local upholstery shop here. It told me 350 to do the seat and um, to do my door panels. My bad. <clears throat> to do my door panels, well, just to do the like the cloth part in vinyl, they're charging me 80 bucks each, which to me seems kind of kind of steep. But since they're already doing the C for 350, I told him, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, he said, bring it on Monday. Today is Thursday. So, we gotta wait till Monday to take them in. Now, meanwhile, I'm gonna clean all this up because it's pretty filthy. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna order a a drop kit for it too, a 2-3 drop, uh, 2 inch drop in the front and back, 3 inch uh, block. I've seen a couple of videos on how to do it, how much I do it myself. And um, <clears throat> I keep saying, um, and I um, keep saying that, <laughs> but anyway. I'm gonna try to take off the bed too, so I can paint the frame. Cause this thing is ugly. Yeah, so that's it for these two days, three days of work that I've been doing on the, on the truck. Oh, you know what? Quick, quick, quick update on the carpet. Today I, I went over it again with water and a brush, and it still has a lot of a lot of dirt. Mm -hmm. You can see here. So dirty. I was trying to avoid buying a new carpet because it still looks it still looks pretty good. Basically, only this part's gonna show, like this here and on this side. All this is covered up anyway. So, I'm gonna just keep at it and then vacuum it. Put it back on once it's dry. I'm gonna drop off my seats. Camera displays right here. On Clark Street. Plus the Tidwell. Picked up the seat already. Came out good. Really good. Right now it's just dirty. I've been leaving it outside for the past few days. So it's kind of dusty. I'm gonna clean that up. And then uh, I got my door panels back too.
That looks good. Need to clean it up too. So after I wasn't too bad, he charged me 350 for the seat. Uh, he charged me 80 bucks to do that per door panel. So it was 160 on the door panels, 350 for the seat. This was kind of steep, but I just wanted to get it all done at once. And uh, I really needed that part too, because it was pretty bad. Seat was pretty ripped. I'm gonna start off by putting the door panels back on <clears throat> but I'm gonna replace all the little pins like these are they're already very brittle and they break easily so I found these that I had basically just push it in there and there it goes so I went ahead and did these already <clears throat> I washed the, the door panel because it was really, really dirty from the back. Let me remove that one there. It's been a while since I've worked on this truck. A few days, kind of forgot how to move it. Let me put the camera down because it's hard for me to record and do this. So that's how it is. <clears throat> With these newer clips, it's a little bit harder to push in. Because they're pretty firm, but it's able to put it back on. So I'm going to go ahead and put the little plastics back on it. And uh, the little the window crank. This one's easy. Alright, so I'm done with the door panels. <clears throat> Next is a carpet. I might have to buy a new one, but not today or the next few days. You know, sometime in the future, because this thing, I washed it several times, I vacuumed it several times, and it still has a lot of dirt in it. Um, there's a website called Stock Interiors, the one that I usually buy carpet from. And I, there's another one, I think it's called OC Carpet. And then um, some other one. I can't remember it from the top of my head. But I know there's one that you can request like samples of the carpet. So I want to match it to, to this before I place an order. So I'm going to try to make an order for like samples. I think they're free. And then try to match it up to this as much as I can.
So I'm down to the last part, which is the seat. I installed the seat belts already. Door sills, the kick panels. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put this through the seat. Might have been a better idea to take this off and then slide it through the seat and then screw this down. But I'm gonna try first. I mean, if it's too hard, then I might just have to take this apart, run it through the seat, and then uh, reinstall it. So far, it looks good. I'm happy with the, the result of this. Alrighty, it's done. It was a little bit of a battle to put the seat on because of the seat belts, but I was able to get everything good. Let's try it on. Man, it feels good. I feel like I'm way taller now compared to how it was. Let's see. Well worth the 350 that I paid for the seat. Now, I really don't like this carpet, man. I know I said it. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm gonna try to uh, replace this carpet because it is faded. It cleaned up okay for the most part. But. Uh, yeah, it still needs to be replaced. So, before I end this video, guys, let me show you real quick the wheels that I plan on buying. I mean, uh, that I plan on putting on this truck. I already bought them. Here go the tires. Now, I tried buying the cheapest the cheapest, nicest wheels that I could find new because I didn't want to I thought about buying something new then I'm like, nah, you know what, I'm going to try to get something new instead so these for the front are 15 by 8 the back are 15 by 10 Is these uh jigs i think they're called sports star yeah sports star they're polished they look good well for me they look good they're pretty basic they're the cheapest that i could find that look decent um i had to wait i had to wait like uh almost a week because they only shipped me three wheels and they shit me, well it was all four of them right, but they shit me this one, like three three wheels were in these white boxes, this one was in a brown box, and I opened it, I'm like man this thing looks like a return, look how curb checked it is, the box is ripped, maybe it was just mishandled and they dropped it somewhere and that's why it's broken. The box is broken and the rim's damaged. But still, as soon as I saw this brown box, I'm like, man, this gotta be a return. So they try to get me with a return. But yeah, these are the wheels that I'm trying to put on there. First, I wanna do the drop and then uh, put the wheels on. Alrighty, guys, so that's it for this video. Um, next time I'm gonna try to take off the bed, paint the frame, drop the truck, and then put the wheels. I'm gonna see if I can do it all in one video. If not, then I'm gonna do the removing of the bed, painting the frame, and then next thing will be the drop and uh, the wheels. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, man. Y'all be safe. Bye.